everybody, thanks for tuning in. Um, today I'm gonna go over a video with you on Rory's newest model. So this is called the Cape. So we took the same concept of the front dinette seating that's in the Bunda Camp that everybody likes, and he went ahead and shortened the floor so that you don't have any um, or minimal overhang on the new standard, which is six and three quarters. So the Bunda Camp is still available, but this is the Cape, and I just wanna do a quick walk through so you guys have a look at um, what's now available for you guys to choose from. So on the passenger side, um, electric jacks, which is the standard upgrade that Rory does. Units still come with the manual jack from Rico Titan, uh, but Rory does have the electrical. On the side, you also have your LP compartment. So this is a single LP storage compartment. We've got some little one pound cylinders along with some mats and stuff that he carries. Uh, but just like all the models, it's a standard upright bottle so you can exchange it anywhere if you're in a pinch and you run out when you travel. Behind that, we just have additional storage underneath this side patio light. Um, he keeps the triangle panel for the awning in there, bungee cords, uh, folding shovel, all kinds of that stuff that you need when you're out and about. The other thing that we do a lot of is the tracks tab. So this is also a custom feature on Rory's units when it's his uh, personal use. So inside, this one has two Max Tracks recovery tracks. So they store on the inside. You can put a lock there. And then my favorite feature is if you undo these two latches, it actually tips down for an outside working station. Like I said, this is probably my favorite feature of on the outside of all of the models, um, even over the awning, just because having this outside working station um, is pretty great. It's lightweight, but still um, robust enough for off-road. And we have aluminum brackets that we make, um, that we have made for us from a company here in Iowa that uh, gives us the support, allowing us to mount it underneath the camper. So it comes out completely out of the way when you're loading the unit as well as um, when it's off the truck and you're using it uh, just for normal use. Charging station on the outside, another additional upgrade that Rory always puts on his units just because you can never have enough too, too much charging. And then the patented bottle opener as well that most people know is now standard on all the models that we do. Um, so the driver or passenger side is pretty clean, not a lot of stuff. Uh, if we move around to the back of the unit, so on the back of the unit, Rory added a ladder to his. Um, not a standard feature, but something Rory wanted to add. Two reasons. One, it offers him access to the Wii Boost antenna that's on the roof. It also allows him to get on the roof when it's down if he needs to clean off the solar panel because Rory also has solar on all of his units. So the back of the unit, we also have the Rotopack mount. Uh, right now, he's got a water canister on there that's two gallons. We do have fuel also and the adapter so that we can carry two jugs, one water and fuel um, if we need to, if we're gonna be out a long time for someplace we're not used to going or we're not aware of. Assist handle, standard on everything, along with the entrance door that has the um, screen door so you can have the door open and enjoy the breeze on a day like today um, and not have to worry about bugs and stuff getting on the inside of the unit. Another feature for Rory is the easy hitch step. Um, so this is a hitch mounted step that goes into his receiver. With the Cape model, he does not need a hitch extension. So it's the Cape is flush with the end of his bumper. So he just puts it in his standard hitch. This easy hitch step is amazing. It comes out of South Carolina. The company is great to work with. They're 15 inch steps and you can fold it and store it in place. You can move your license plate to the back of the step. Um, if it's something that you want to make sure that that's visible. We don't move ours just because the step is usually not attached when we're traveling because we have a trailer. Um, so once the step is unlocked and it comes down, gives you great access into the camper. We put turf over the steps only so that the dogs we travel with have an easier time going up and down when we're at a campsite. Behind the entry door, We have the aluminum storage box from Alumaline out of Cresco, Iowa here. Um, this is 10 by 10 by six, so it will fit single LP bottles on the inside for storage, which he has a couple in here. And then of course we have our website. This door down here is access for him. So on his unit, he has a gray water holding tank. Um, it's a pistol tank, so it's a little bit on the smaller side, but it does allow gray water storage. Uh, with his termination valve here and then inside he also has the coil hose storage for his outside shower so um, this is just an easy access point on the back of the camper without having to have a termination valve off the back itself so on the driver's side of the unit um, this is where a lot of the additional nuts and bolts of the unit are so 
Um, in this front cap compartment here, this is access to the Truma Combi, so that combination water heater furnace out of Germany that we use. The Combi is a standard feature on this unit, so um, there is no interior shower, but with the water heat addition, we do get the outside shower um, at the back of the driver's side, which I'll show you. Gravity water fill, again, standard on everything for those having to use potable water when you're out, as well as a 30 amp shore power hookup also if you need that. Behind that, we have the battery compartment. So this compartment is behind the dinette seat on the driver's side, and it will store two group 27 size batteries. Um, we've actually made the decision to test with lithium batteries on this unit for Rory, just because the lithium is the new hot button that everybody knows everybody wants to go to it. So um, we weren't familiar with enough to it, familiar enough with it. Um, so we just wanted to work with our supplier at XP on 360 and try out the batteries so we know how lithium works for our customers. Just like standard batteries, they are wired as one, so you get one big cell bank. Um, the XBM batteries we're using are 100 amp hours. Um, we went to the first show with them in Virginia. They seem to perform very well as far as even with colder temperatures overnight, so that was rather impressive compared to what we've seen with um, other lithium companies. So the quick pitch ensuite, again, this is the outside shower enclosure. Normally, Rory travels with a soft case. This is the hard case version. Only difference between the two, especially when mounting it on a truck camper, is we did have to create a Z bracket on the back side to offset this from the side of the camper in order to get his latches to clear without hitting the camper itself. And then again, our normal docking station for the outside shower. So you've got your outside shower port, the city water and the tank fill um, lever, and then the connection for your hose. Um, so again, another great job at streamlining everything and making it easy to use on the outside. Um, same aluminum, same wood frame construction, everything is the same. Like I said, just a shorter model for the cape. So now we'll take a look on the inside. All right, so welcome to the inside of the cape, guys. So um, when you first come in the door, obviously behind me, um, to the right we have the um, fridge and all the cabinetry that Rory added. So what we did on the inside is we kept the cafe seating up front. We took the kitchen that's in the wild, so the shorter kitchen, um, to give us that seating and then that allowed for this cabinet in the back as well. So we've got tons of storage in here, um, deep storage all the way through because of the fridge and then the two what we call can drawers. So you've got the assistance on the side so the drawers are a little bit stouter so you can actually put canned goods um, and then other utensils and stuff for storage when you're camping. Nova Cool Fridge is something that we've switched to in most of our models. It comes out of Canada. Um, 12 volt only, just like before. Great company to work with. They offer us a shallower compartment um, to give you more space inside the unit while still giving you a decent sized fridge for use as well. So underneath the fridge, which Rory also likes to do, is give access to another drawer. So just again, optimizing the storage inside the unit where we can. And then without having the cassette toilet built in, such in the Bunda Camp, we put in the porta potty unit from Thetford. So this is the curve, so it's the tallest porta potty that they offer. And then for use, you can just pull it out. It does have electric flush on it. Um, at the back, so you've got electric flush, and then the uh, drain for dumping is on the side. And then it separates just like a standard cassette toilet to dump in any pit toilet or rest area if you need to once the tank itself gets full. Um, on the back here, Rory also added additional storage items. So we modified a frame net of ours to give us um, a large amount of storage underneath and then the little iPad holder above, along with additional creature features such as the hat peg and then the towel bar in the roof, which folds out of the way. And then you can hang clothes or put towels and stuff if you need to there. Um, comes in handy if you have to towel off the dogs. Lighting in the roof, we do have the light right inside the door that's operated on a switch right when you come in the door. So you don't have to worry about coming into a dark unit um, at night if you're camping and you've been away from the camper for a while. Across from the fridge, we have the kitchen. Um, so the glass top sink is now a standard unit or a standard feature in most of our units. Um, so this does have the glass top sink. Again, it opens, you get the wash tub, the dish drainer, um, everything that fits inside for storage um, when you're traveling, which is a super nice feature. We really enjoy having that. Pull out kitchen faucet, which is standard in everything as well. Just like your faucet at home, it gives you two different options as far as the spray that comes out. Another creature feature is the towel bar here behind, um, as well as the netting. The net allows us to store dish soap, 
as well as a towel just to keep it out of the way so you're not always looking for something. And then he opted to add the glass top stove cover as well. So the glass top stove cover is not a cooking surface, mainly just a splatter guard for whoever is sitting at the dinette, but it is auto ignite. So you just push it to light, hit the button, the burner will strike. As long as everything here is cool to the touch, just lift up on the glass top and pull it down. That way you've got the glass top surface on the stove and the sink giving you full countertop space if you need it. On the kitchen face itself, we have all kinds of buttons. So the one at the very back here is for the lift system from Rico Titan, which it, again is the all electric lift that is standard. We have a switch for the water pump for the demand water system. We also have the remote switch for the electric jacks, the light inside the door. There's a light on the outside above the door for security and then the patio lights on each side that are outside as well. Cabinets underneath here are just open storage. So um, we've got pots and pans, all of the things that we use for cooking obviously are in these two top drawers. And then the bottom doors down here, just storage for additional things, baggies, towels, all of that. Um, on this unit, we did put a 3000 watt inverter uh, from Xantrax called the X Power. It switches also on the kitchen face and it is operated by the black outlet. So we have a white outlet if we're on shore power and a black outlet if we have to use the inverter. It also has the Xpion 360 battery monitor, which allows us to know the percentage of the battery and where the status of the batteries are at, um, since we don't have a visible solar controller that we can see um, on this particular unit, as well as a voltmeter, dual USB, and a charging station um, on the kitchen face as well. All right, so like I said, big benefit of this unit is the two-person cafe seating up front. Um, super comfortable to sit at. We have a cheater step below me so that my short legs don't dangle when I'm sitting. Um, and then the pull-out table. So pull-out table is on a locking slide. So there's these blue buttons on the bottom. You just push out and the table pulls out for use. I love this feature as well. It makes it super easy for me to work remotely when we're at a show. And again, it makes it comfortable for two people to be in here um, in bad weather if you cannot be outside. So to release it, just push the buttons down again and then it slides forward. Above that additional storage, we give you two doors drawers, excuse me, um, above here where we keep miscellaneous junk. Um, and then inside here is additional storage where we've got more kitchen essentials and then storage um, and access for um, pantry items that you necessarily don't want to put in the back. And those lock shut just like everything else with the push button latches. Below that, Rory added a tank monitor so that he can know where his freshwater tank is at since there's no good way to access that and see. And then there's also the 35 amp converter which we use from Progressive Dynamic. This converter is standard with a switch to operate both standard batteries and lithium. So um, super nice upgrade feature that we've switched to so that people aren't having to completely change a converter if they wanna go to lithium. And then again, the standard LPCO detector. With the Truma, we have it outletted in a couple places like normal. So we have a vent um, on the driver's side for any heat to escape from the unit itself. And then there is a vent outpost on the bottom of the kitchen face, as well as one underneath the fridge. Um, both of those outlets are open, so you don't have to worry about anything being backed up and causing the furnace uh, to back fill as far as not having a way for the heat to get out. Again, we have the lift up under bed storage. So your bed will lift up completely and give you storage underneath the bed. We have the t uh, amplified TV antenna underneath there. He keeps towels and blankets, anything that he thinks he might need if the weather does get cold. And then these are tensioned because of the rod, so it does take two hands to pull it down. And then underneath the mattress, something else that he wanted to test so that we could potentially offer is the Froley system. So they sent this to us to try because as you know, we don't sell anything we haven't tried. So this is the first season that Rory has used the Froley. Um, I haven't had a chance to check with him to see what his feedback is, but hopefully that becomes positive and that'll be something we can offer customers in the future. Behind me, we also have access to the Truma. So this is your control panel for the Truma uh, water heater and furnace together. I do have the furnace on because it's a little bit chilly today, um, but they have a video on their website on how to operate the control panel. Very smart system, very, efe very efficient. And like I said, it's a standard feature in this unit as well as the temperature sensor to let the furnace know when it should kick on. Creature features, again, that Rory adds, we've got charging stations at the back side of the, or back side of the cab over on each end, and then the twist off plug on this end, which 
is just a twist off hatch. He keeps storage stuff in there occasionally. We have also found it's a great place to put a water bowl for a dog overnight. Um, he did that with Izzy on this last trip so that he didn't end up with wet bedding if she needed a drink in the middle of the night. So that worked out well for him. On the other side, he removed the hatch and actually put in a little door here. Um, this gives us storage or access to the wiring. It gives access to the solar controller. It also um, allows just easier access for cord storage for like charging cords and other things that we travel with um, when we're at the show. Again, we have the um, outlet for the Truma at the back here and then another charging station. This charging station is pretty much used to run the TV when he chooses to. Um, so the TV is on a swivel mount on the ceiling and it just pulls down. So you can view it from the dinette or in the cab over depending um, on where you're at and if you have to use that. Queen size mattress, just like all of our units. So a standard household queen, 60 by 80. Bedding and stuff stays in place all of the time. So he has it made since we just got back from a show. Pillows and stuff are still in place. And then he opted for the skylight as well. Uh, this is a newer skylight that we're working with that has better positive catches for when it's closed. And it also has a light that covers all four sides that's bright enough you could do surgery with. Um, the other thing that I want to show, just because we don't do a lot of it, but it's nice that it's fall when we're doing this video. So the silver panels that you see in the cab over and along the one side, that's our radiant barrier. So it's a reflective material. It takes 90% of the temperature inside the camper and reflects it back in. When we were in Virginia, it was cold overnight, so he had the three panels in the cab over just to keep that a little bit warmer overnight um, so that it was comfortable for him to sleep. And then during the day, whatever side the wind was on the most, he put it um, down as well just to kind of block that and keep it a little bit more comfortable inside the unit. Overhead cabinets is something he also adds to most of his units. We have a small one above the dinette on this side and then a larger one over the kitchen. So one reason for the larger one over the kitchen is we have switched all of our lift systems to a two inch taller lift. So all of the dimensions that are on the website, you'll see going up about two inches um, coming up in 2023. The deeper cabinet allows for me to see inside the cabinet when I'm um, with him on a trip for the shows or when he is um, by himself or with his wife, just because we're all on the not so tall side. Um, so it's nice to be able to see what's actually in the cabinet. We've got the touch light underneath here as well, which is also super handy. Um, and then creature feature with the paper towel holders. So as you know, Rory's demos have a lot of what we call creature features, things that just make the unit a little bit more comfortable for him when he's traveling. But it is stuff that we can do for customers as well. You just kind of have to ask. When you're here, we go over a lot of that with you. The website is a great place for information. It has all the models available by truck size, bundatechusa.com. You can also email us, sales at bundatechusa.com with any questions you might have. We're happy to get quotes out for you in any way that we can or help with questions. Um, we appreciate you following us online and watching the videos. Facebook is also a great avenue for those that want to see pictures and get to know us a little bit more as a company. So again, thanks for tuning in and hopefully we can talk to you soon.